Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. God bless everyone joining. And if this is the first time you're coming across my videos, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. May the Lord use this channel to minister to you prophetically in the mighty name of Jesus. And to all my returning subscribers, I love you. You are the reason why I'm here. God bless you tremendously. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Your enemy is about to have a heart attack. They will not survive this. Your enemy is about to have a, a heart attack and they will not survive it. You know, one thing I have learned is that it is very catastrophic to make someone God, God loves an enemy. If you want to die untimely, if you want to develop a heart attack, make an enemy out of someone God loves or try to compete with someone God loves. You will find yourself having a heart attack because God is going to, you know, place them in high places right before your eyes over and over and over again. God will do that repeatedly. When the Bible says that God is closer to the oppressed. When people gang up on you, they tarnish your reputation, they speak ill about you, and they make you feel less of yourself. The Bible says that God is closer to those ones that have been oppressed and those ones that have been pushed behind. The more they hate you, the more God is going to bless you. You know, when I th think about the story of um, Leah and Rachel, Rachel was the loved. She was loved of her husband. Leah was just given to her husband as a matter of traditional rights. She was the elder daughter and by tradition, she had to get married before her younger sister. At least that is what the father said. And so she wasn't the favorite. Jacob didn't really love her. He was strict into marrying her. And so even while in the marriage, I just want to imagine you being in a relationship with someone who doesn't really prefer you. Have you ever been in a relationship or in a place where you are not preferred? It is bad. It puts you in your shelf. You feel like you can't really offer anything here. And God made up for that. Rachel had difficulties in conception. And Leah, God blessed her mightily. She kept having children after children after children. And the loved of God, the beloved of her husband, only had two children. You know, um, Jacob was called the, the, the pat he's, a, he's a patriarch and he's a father of the 12 tribes of Israel. He needed to have these 12 tribes of Israel. But the one he loved could only give him two. And two by her maid. The rest of them, that is eight, came from Leah. That is what God does. God is going to put your enemies in a bad place. The worst thing they did is to make of you an enemy. It will not end well for them. They are not going to live to tell the story because God will exalt you over them over and over and over and over again. Hallelujah. They made a mistake making an enemy of you. It was a huge blunder. They shouldn't have done that. God is rising up for you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.